Welcome to another episode of the Sage to Ascendant series, the series where I show tons of Sage tips and tricks. Last episode we finally promoted to Diamond Free, so only one more rank my friends. Let's try to get it today. Hello everyone. A Sage ball that's especially good in the first round is this one over here. If you place that wall in a normal round, it most of the time instantly gets destroyed. But pistols aren't very good against your wall. It might save just enough time so your team can rotate. And another tip, if you want to shoot through the smoke, look at your minimap. I see you Sage. Oh, I saw you on the mini map. One enemy planted. Woohoohoo, it's busy. When you don't have control over mid link, you should always be careful for the defender spawn. Or this might happen. Ah, one is city. When your ultimate is ready and a teammate dies early in the round, it's recommended to slowly make your way towards the body. There's not a high chance that the enemies will camp the body for the whole round, but once you get there, still be careful with the revive. That sucked. What the? No time, no time. Here, no time. And of course, when there's almost no time left, don't be greedy for the kills, just run away. Easy round. Another important thing to remember if you want to win more rounds is to try to read the enemy. In this game, the enemies like to play around mid a lot, so I decided to leave Cypher alone on B and go mid myself for a little more backup. So lucky. Oh. <laughs> Am I the only one or are you guys also sweating in the 1v1s? Anyway, since Chamber got an operator over here, I decided to go down. I thought I had a bit more advantage with my Vandal over there. 30 seconds left. Oh. Just like the second round, there's always that one guy that goes through sewers. Always keep that in mind. Train high. Oh yeah, one more city. Even though Sage is a support agent and you aren't really supposed to push, pushing on the defender side might work so now and then. Just remember, after you make a kill, go back to your team so you could help them. And this is why it's important to always keep an eye on the planter if you are pushing on the attacker side. There might be an enemy sneaky peeky creeping onto your planter. Oh, 8 bullets. What's the last bullet? Jeez. Normally it's not smart to revive your teammates in an eco round. But if you get some early kills... So Go for it, you might be able to win the round. One enemy remaining. Yes! It was mid. Thrifty. Nice! Good job. When you're entering A, this sage wall is not only good to enter, but you also force the enemies to push through the right. So by using this wall, you could throw your orbs on the right to save a little bit more time. And in this round, time was key for the victory. Ask player standing. One enemy remaining. Yes, I got nice. Good job. So we ended up in overtime, crushed the enemies for two rounds back to back, and easy win. Plus 21 RR. Let's go to the next one. Hello, everyone. Here's some proof that you can work together with your teammates even if they are disconnected. So in the first round, my teammate Omen sadly disconnected at the entrance of B. Instead of just letting him die, I used him as bait. <laughs> That's gemeen. He's killing an AFK. Also, a lot of Sage players will use their wall at the start of the round. But here's a perfect example why you shouldn't be doing that. It could be useful later in the round. Rest. Oh. One enemy remaining. Oh. Enemy hey, yo. I have no idea why I make these strange noises. He's a busy watermelon. Anyway, how did Cypher get up there? He scared me. Oh my god. When you play together with a sky, it's always nice to follow the sky wolf. But when you are following it, don't push in too deep. Always make sure you have some sort of cover. In this case, the door was covering me from the left. Enemy removed. A few rounds later, we went on a half buy. And like I say often, in half buys, try to switch up your tactics. So I decided to push with the specter. Easy peasy. One enemy. If you saw the Omen to Ascendant series, you've probably seen the trick where you smoke something and then teleport close to it. Enemies think you're in a smoke, but then easy peasy kills for you. Well, if you're using that trick, make sure to teleport somewhere safe and not on top of the boxes like this Omen did. What did he do? On the attacker side, when you're entering, killing the enemies is your first priority and then it's essential to use your wall to block things off. So don't run in the open with your wall in your hand. I got very lucky over here. What the, how did I survive that? Yeah, in the end, we sadly lost this game. We got only minus 17. Let's go to the next one. Hello, everyone. Just like the Sky Wolf, you could also follow the Race Boom bot. Don't be afraid to push out the smoke if it detects someone. We both like, really? One and a half things Oh my god. 
Two rounds later, I pushed again out of the smoke first as a sage. The reason for this is because the sofa drone didn't spot anyone. However, this isn't how you're supposed to play sage, but it worked out, so I take it. Also, in the post plant, when you are standing over here on ascent and a teammate is standing in hell, don't let your teammate die on sight. If he sees someone, peek with him and make a kill together. Oh, nice. A few rounds later, I used the Tesla share for some aimbot. Ooh, I make more kills in eco rounds. To get to a higher rank, it's important that you'll be able to adjust your plan according to what the enemies are doing. In this round, we pushed A from main, but we saw that there were a lot of enemies on spot. Down, mid. So even though my teammate Sova was on site, I knew that B was clear and I was with a spike on catwalk. So I decided to rush to B. Also, a cool post plant tactic you could do with Sage is plant over here. Then walk to the defender spawn and place your wall like this. Now you could easily hold the spike from CT. Just be careful, don't use this trick when there are a lot of enemies alive. Because there's a high chance that the enemy will be in CT. But in a 1v1, it's pretty safe. Nice. Yes. Omen, omen, omen. You need to watch a bit more flex ninja, my friend. What did he do? Not once, but he made the mistake twice. Now look at this play. Sometimes you gotta have fun. Look at this. Oh, oh, the clippy. When the enemy Reyna is flashing you and pushing you, a lot of people would hide in the corner. But most of the time, the Reyna will just push you and kill you when you are blind. So it's not a bad idea to sometimes just peek into the flash and hope for the best. Oh, this was a pretty good game and after these two kills We won 20 RR, one more game Hello everyone Remember my friends, you don't always have to commit Especially in the lower elos, when they choose a side, they go for the side But rotating is very important in this game I mean look at this, B was completely free Easy plan for us Big tip, don't push middle like I'm doing over here If there was an enemy pushing door, I would be so dead But hey, it worked out When you have a marshal in your hand and you play against an agent that can like run and dash, sometimes not using your scope is a bit easier. Yes. Like I said earlier this video, Sage is a support agent and actually should play with their team. But you know, flanking is in my playstyle, so sometimes you just gotta flank. Easy peasy kills though. What the heck? Nice. Sometimes it just scares me how fast the enemies can push. Do they only hold down their W or something? What the heck are you doing there already? One enemy remaining. Also, I love this sage wall. This kill was very lucky. Ah, oh, yeah, they're pushing. And after this one, we won the game. Look at this, we did, don't got MVP, but... No, it's green, we're ass. Okay, I, I, I've been playing this game for too long, man. I need to sleep. <laughs> but we got it. There you have it, my friends. It's the end of the series. Thank you guys so much for the support during this series. I really appreciate all the nice comments. And let me know which agent I should do next. Bye-bye.